to Sugar Coated. I'm your host, Adrian Garland, the CEO and founder of She Leads Media. For far too long, women have been conditioned to sugarcoat their words, their actions, and the way they show up in the world, and to conform to certain cultural norms and ideals. This is inherently designed to keep those who are outside of the norm from gaining power, prestige, wealth, and influence preventing more women from being recognized and respected as the powerful leaders that we truly are. Join me each week as we dive into raw conversations with remarkable, uncompromising, and inspirational women that will encourage you to strip away your sugar coating and move boldly in the direction of your magnificent dreams. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Sugar Coated. I have a very, very special guest with us here today. His name is Frankie Liu, and he is a former student of mine. I teach at the NYU Tisch Center for Hospitality in the Graduate Management Program uh, for Event Management, and Frankie is pursuing his master's in event management. Now, you'll notice that Frankie is a male, and he is actually was supposed to be the first man uh, that I had on the podcast, but I did have somebody on the other day, Dr. Green, who deals with hormonal health. So Frankie is the second man to be on our sugar-coated podcast. Maybe this is a new trend. Um, But I'm so excited to speak to him today because in the class that I teach, we talk all about entrepreneurship. And we happened to have a very, very special semester. Our whole entire class was filled with so much talent. Just everybody got along so beautifully. We went on a couple of outings together, and we just had the most incredible time. Now, the reason Frankie is here is not just because he's awesome, but because he is also a future superstar. (laughs) Frankie just released an album on Spotify. I I think about last month he did it. And we are just going to have an incredible conversation about Frankie's journey through music, through entrepreneurship, out into the working world, from China to the United States and maybe back again. So welcome. That's a whole huge introduction. Welcome to Sugar Coated Frankie. Hi, I'm I am Frankie and thank you Asian for inviting me to Sugar Coated podcast. I'm so happy to have you here and we talked about this for a while. And why don't you tell us a, a little bit about, you know, how you kind of came to NYU and how you got into the event management program and how you're also a super creative musician. Okay, so the first music I made is on 2021. And that was also the time I um, applied for graduate master in New York University. And at that time, I thought uh, music and event is so so combined and it will affect in my future and that that's what i like for my future job so mm-hmm. i choose event management as my master major and frankie i don't know if i remember or not but what was your undergraduate major my undergraduate major is resource economics it's totally different yeah yes <laughs> but after after i graduate from my bachelor I finally find what direction I want to go, which is music. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I saw event management in New York University. So I think that's my interest. So I choose event management. So you just released this album, which is super cool. And we'll we'll get to you sampling a, a little bit of it. I can't wait to hear. I listened to it a little bit when you released it. Um, but I'd just love to hear a little bit about some of the songs and what they mean and all of that. But had you been you know, playing music, practicing music from when you were young? Is this something that is fairly new for you? Talk to us a little bit about that. So I, I learned piano before at the age of five. Like Mm -hmm. I played the piano on five years old and I played for like 10 years. Wow. Yes. And I joined to choir before on high school. 
because my high school is in was in Los Angeles, and mm. I joined choirs and also music clubs. Even in undergraduate, I joined music clubs, and I have a lot of performance experience, and mm. I love music. So、mm. that's why I want to be in my job. Oh my gosh, I love that so much, and you know in. Our entrepreneurship class. It was, I, I think, such a perfect environment for people to talk to one another and really encourage each other to kind of talk about their passions. And I, I think that there were a lot of people that were in class that were really excited about you and your music. I, I remember some of the women in class, you know, telling me like, "Oh, Frankie's a musician." <laughs> and so I don't know. I actually don't know if I would have known that unless they had, you know, brought that up to me. So were they any part of your inspiration to, you know, get this album out? Did they help to encourage you to to kind of go for it? Actually, I the one inspires me a lot is myself, and、uh, yes, and my first album has almost fifteen songs with、wow. nine Chinese songs and six English songs, pop songs,、nice. and most of them are written by myself, produced by myself, and seen by myself. Wow! Now, Frankie, do did you with the whole production of the music and everything? Did you have access to、uh, studio equipment? How did how did you go about doing that? Yes, I I went to studio to record my songs, and that's only my expense for one song. And for others, for producing, it's all by myself. Wow! Yes. You do all the mixing and the mastering, and you have all of the software on your computer and all that good stuff. Yes. Wow, so cool. So, well, actually, why don't you tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the album, sort of the theme of it, and then what is the difference between you know the the Chinese songs and then the the American pop songs? Because most of songs are written by myself, and some of songs is like is written to myself. Mm. I can I can play one song. It's called "Dear Frankie," which is 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 like a letter to、mm. myself.、Mm. And because right now I am not that successful, or I am going to succeed, it's like after if I if I succeed in the future, and this song will be like the past me,、mm. and maybe after that I will write a song as well to myself as a success for me. Mm. Yes, it, it reminds me of the exercise that we did in class about yes. right. Yes. <laughs> did you write the song before or after? Actually, it's after because I <laughs> I get I get the inspiration by you. Oh, really?、Yes. That warms my heart. That's so、yes. amazing. That yeah, it remind it just reminds me of the exercise that we do right, projecting yourself. In in the future and what that looks like and feels like and everything, so I cannot wait to hear this song. Please, please play it for us. Okay, and、um, this song is called "Dear Frankie." Okay. That's the piano part. Start. Hey, how you recently? I know you're so lonely, lonely on your planet. Say, tell me how you feel. I know you've been crazy, crazy for your dream. Boy, I hear you crying. That's fine. Just take your time. Don't stay up all night. Man, I see you hiding. Wow. But you're gonna tell me something like we used to be. 
That's all to myself. Boy, I hear you crying. That's fine. Just take your time. Don't stay up all night. <laughs> Frankie, you're making me cry. I see you hiding, <laughs> but you're gonna tell me something. Just take a shot and make it. Play the song of our republic. Remember, you can only live once. Boy, I hear you crying. That's fine. Just take your time. Don't stay up all night. Tell me something like we used to be. Like we used to be. So good. Like we used to be. That's the end. So amazing! Oh my god, that is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, gorgeous, Frankie. That is so beautiful. It's so heartwarming. I, I literally am crying. <laughs> well, thank you. Oh thank my you god. For your... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. That is so beautifully written and composed and produced. And you're so incredibly talented. Your voice is beautiful. Thank it you. It is absolutely beautiful. My goodness. What we're going to do is we're going to put that song and also a link to the whole entire album in the show notes. And, you know, just every, a, a lot of the people that listen to the show are women entrepreneurs. And I think that everybody can be inspired by, you know, really leaning into your talents and, and trying something new. And I just encourage everybody to kind of, you know, listen in to that song. And what I love about it so much, I, I just mentioned it real quick, is that in class, one of the assignments that we do is we sort of look at our future selves. Yes. And I encourage everybody to kind of do that exercise. You don't need to, you know, to be in my class at NYU <laughs> uh, to, to do the assignment, but look at the incredible creativity that kind of came out of that exercise. And I mean, Frankie literally turned it into a song, which <laughs> is just the most beautiful thing that I could ever have imagined. So Frankie, I'm going to be using you as an example Thank you. Of, of, you know, what you can do and, and what you can accomplish. I also know, and, you know, I don't, if you don't want to talk about this, but I, I know that you're looking to maybe get out there in a more public way. Do you want to talk a little bit about what your plans are? Yes. So my plan is because every, every song I made is like recording my life or hearing some of my friends' experience. Mm -hmm. And my plan is to record more something like that, more experience like that. Mm -hmm. including myself or my friends or even my professors like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to make more high-quality songs 
in the future, I want to be famous. Yeah. And I want a more audience to listen to my song. Yeah. And because um, I already find a job, it's about music department and、um, it's about event, music event, and also to get into more music artists together. Yes. To yes. make a show or event in China. So,、mm. this is the work, the job, what I like. And I want to put focus on music in the future. And、mm. I want more music, especially high quality music, produced and to let everyone in the world to listen.、Yeah. So, it's like this song, Dear Frankie. I really want this song to be famous, to、mm. get lots of people to listen to, to get inspired to them. Yeah, that's what I think and what I plan. I love it. The, I love the fact that it is talking to ourselves in a, you know, such a kind and caring way, you know, not necessarily saying like, You're a great man, go for it. But rather, like, I hear you, I see you. You know,、yes. you don't have to, you know, go crazy, stay up late. Like, it's, it's going to happen. Trust, you know?、Yes. And I think that that's such a powerful message, especially for people who are your age, because I think that there's so much on social media that, Shows this like overnight success and that it's like completely easy, and it's not. Yeah, I agree with you. So, your song is like an antidote to、yeah. this like quick fix social media stuff that we see. I mean, I'm gonna share your song with everybody, and it, it makes me think, you know, dear Frankie, dear Frankie can it can be anybody, like, I can, I can. Dear Frankie, myself, you, you know、yes. what I mean? Like, yeah,、ugh. because because I think everyone can write a letter to themselves as、yeah. an inspiration. I、yeah. mean, because I love music and music is powerful.、Mm. Not only music, but every voice is powerful, including like podcast voice. I think, um, because I have lots of female friends are still. Um, struggle for success in their lives,、mm -hmm. and they continue to break through themselves in the workplace. And I think females in the workplace will always have obstacles,、mm -hmm. and many, voice, many voices for women are called precious.、Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's called precious is because, because of the scarcity of this voice. Yeah. And when this voice is not precious or in lives, in, in our life, does not need to emphasize the need to speak for women, indicating that women's rights are no longer lacking in our society. Wow. Frankie, th see, this is, this is why you're here on the Sugar Coated podcast. You're an advocate for all voices. And I. I'm so honored to be able to showcase your voice through my platform. And, you know, I would encourage the women that you know、mm -hmm. to, to do their own thing, to start their own podcast. It's not that difficult to do. Yes. And it's important that we share our own opinions and, and thoughts because if we don't, Then we're only going to listen to the loudest voices that are out there. And those voices aren't necessarily always the best or the most supportive voices. Yes. yes. So, so I love your message. I love it. So I think、um, Sugar Coated is a really, really good platform. Thank you. To inspire not only females, but also including me as, as a non female, but I get inspired into it. Yeah. Well,、yes. I think, you know, it's so funny. I, I thank you so much for saying that. And that's one of the things that I have actually observed is that, you know, 
I do this work for women entrepreneurs. And typically I work with women that might be a little bit older, but then there's this whole group of younger people as as a whole that there's something about sugar coated there's something about she leads media that attracts not only just young women but young men as well there there have been several young men that have come through classes at NYU that have said that the stuff that I'm doing is inspiring the entrepreneurial thinking all of that and I love it like I love talking to all of you, working with all of you, and getting inspired by you. Yes. It's not it's not a one-way street. I'm not I'm not the inspiration. You're the inspiration to me. I think it's like we inspire each other together and yeah. we we will get succeed together. Like for me because I'm younger, so I can get growth by your inspiration. And also others. Yeah. yeah, I think I think I can relate to the younger men too because I do have you know two sons of my own that are you know twenty two and nineteen. So I kind of get you know where you all are and what you have been through, especially with COVID and everything. I mean that has been very very challenging to be isolated at that point in your life. So I yes. have a lot of sympathy, empathy for everything. It's it's hard, man. It's hard. Yeah, people get depressed during yeah. COVID time. Yeah. And you don't just snap out of it. Yeah. You that that's that stuff sticks with you no matter how much you don't want it to. You talk a little bit in the song about, you know, loneliness and everything. You know, yes. I I get teary-eyed because I know that both of my sons experienced that and it's not like it's not like they didn't talk to anybody because they did, but it, there there was just something terrible that that happened. Um and I I you know, just going back, I I do think that that this song Dear Frankie is going to be incredibly successful because it really, you know, it, it gets to kind of the heart of it all, which is so yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So Frankie, what else can we sort of share with the world about you and, you know, maybe your friend group? What are some of the things that, that now that, not that we're, you know, I don't think we're ever going to be rid of COVID, but, you know, as we're sort of moving into a world that's a little bit different than you probably thought you were going to be going into when you were a kid, you know, what are some of the things that you and your friend group are are thinking about and talking about for the future? Are you, like, hopeful? Yes, because we all have our goal, life goal in the future. Like, also, some of my classmates, they are... They're already doing the business right now. And I am just like the starting. Because I think when we do a business, the starting point is so tough. Yes. Yeah, from zero to one is really, really tough. Yeah. And all I want to say is we need to experience more because life is all about experience. Yeah. And to reach our life goal, I think... Two things we have to do. One is focus on, stay focused. And yeah. second is keep practicing. Mm. That yeah, makes never our, stop practicing. Yeah. Yes, that makes yeah. our life go reaching to achieve our goal. It's hard to, I think, to keep the focus on, on practicing because we do see a lot of the outcome you know, like the end game. And we want to get there so quick that sometimes we skip over the practicing. Yes. And, and the practicing is where you really learn about yourself. It's, it's what we talk about with entrepreneurship, right? The practice of entrepreneurship. You're never like the perfect entrepreneur. Yes. You're always learning. Yeah. There, there's no one gets a six at the first time. You need no. to... Yes, you need to practice more, to learn more, to experience more, and so that to be succeed. 
What do you think, what, just talk, just, you know, talking a tiny bit only because you're, you're currently in the master's program, and this isn't specifically about NYU, but just like education in general right now, what do you think could potentially be modified or changed about the way that, I guess, like instructors instruct or professors teach that could give students more of that like life experience so that they can really really learn um i think if i if i were a professor to teach like to have a students i will let them go to society or like some of company to work because i think like working experience i mean makes students life in the future get easy to go to society or get a future job. That was yeah. the easy way because that, that was also the practice. Yeah. Yeah. So so a lot of a lot of schools encourage internships, right? So where you go <laughs> out and, and all of that. But do you think that that they could do more? Is like an internship almost not enough? I don't think there is enough internship for students. Yeah. I think students should do more and more internship. Yeah. Yes. Because this is like the benefit of internship is to use your to to use what you learned from college Mm -hmm. to your job. That was like using your knowledge to your job. Yeah. And once you graduate, when you find a job, you can easily using your knowledge, your potential, bring them to your future job. So yeah. internship is so important. It's so important. And it's so funny because you learn about these things in school out of a book or, you know, whatever, through other podcasts or articles or, or whatever. And, and then you get out into the world of work and nothing is like what the book talks about. Yes. Don't, <sighs> it's like, it's like, don't limit your knowledge on the book. Yeah. You should bring it out of the book in your life, not only working, but also everything in your life. Yeah. That's yes. why like I'm always I'm always trying to figure out what's the best way to kind of, you know, instruct this class at NYU. And I'm now teaching it on the undergraduate level too for the whole entire semester. So it gives us a little bit more room to do other things. But I'm always wondering, like I love when we have conversation and just kind of, I learn about everybody and and talk and everything. I love that. I think that's so helpful because it's not like I have all of the knowledge and I'm imparting it to the students. I learn so much from all of you I also want to be, you know, I always want to improve as as sort of that instructor, professor, whatever you want to call it, so that the students leave that class and they're like, that was, you know, the best class I learned the most that is practical for my life. Yeah. I would just encourage your professors to keep trying to, you know, tell them like, we want real life scenarios. like. Tell us stories, take us out, like do things with us so that we can be better people in, in the workforce, more effective and, and quite frankly, have more fun. Yeah, I think in- encouragement is more powerful than punishment as a yes. professor to students. Because some of professors or teachers will say the class is, is the worst or something like that to, I, I mean... Maybe the teacher want to encourage the students in the class and say that. But I mean, if you say this is the best class that I ever take or I ever teach, that will be more powerful encouragement. I other totally than, agree with you. Yes. Other than punishment. I'm going to, I have, I'm teaching class tonight. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to tell everybody this is the best class that they're ever going to take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said to our class before. <laughs> yeah. I said, and it's funny. And I, I do you, you, your class has the honor of being the best class that I've ever, 
ever taught. There was just something so magical about every single person in it. There was so much talent in in the class, right? There was so much enthusiasm. We we went out on these adventures. We just had yes. a lot of fun. And that that last class with all of the food and the items, I mean, that was just mind blowing. It was the best. Yeah, that also was the best class I ever take. <laughs> it's like it's like we we having a great time together. Yeah, we did a field trip, right? And our presentation is like so flexible. Oh, yeah, so and good. also the important thing is we can learn from the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We learned too. It's like we had all of that fun, and it was it was really open. But I think everybody really took away a lot of great lessons. So yes. I I just want to continue to do things like that, and I encourage you too as you get older and you get more refined in your you know musicianship. Pass that on to yeah. to others. It's it's really interesting that when you start teaching people what you're doing, you you learn more. Yes, it, it's a weird phenomenon. So I'd encourage yeah. that with with you too. Like take on someone that's even you know less experienced than you and help them out. Yeah, and that makes a great memories in my master experience. Oh, I love that too. I know I have such great memories too. <laughs> yeah. We have pictures from it and everything. So yes. that is just so wonderful. So Frankie, I think that I could probably talk to you forever and we will get together. And I know uh, we, we're talking about going out for coffee and having some of the other students, which would be so great. I, I cannot wait to do that. Um, but I think that we've come to the end of our time here on the Sugar Coated Podcast. And, you know, if you want to maybe just take a little sample of another song to kind of play us out. Um, and then, you know, we'll we'll be sure to include links to your social media and to your to Spotify and all of that so that people can listen in and share it with everybody. Sure. And I can introduce another song. It's called Battering. Okay. It's, yeah, it's better plus ing it's like we get we are getting better all the time mm. so it's also inspire myself and also inspire my friends everyone every audience it's called battering it's it's like a pop rock music <laughs> Your life has been written No matter where you go You may experience that others may not All the best with your decision And then what comes next for yourself Life makes you broken, you fall I hope you better off To do what you want To be what you need You're gonna be better You will see To do what you want To be what you need You mean to be better Call me and I will be with you When you feel tired of living I'm sorry for curing your bad news with misery All the best with your decision And then what comes next for yourself Life makes you broken, you fall I hope you better off To do what you want To be what you need You're gonna be better You will see To do what you want To be what you need You mean to be better I love it. You do. You have to be bettering. Yes. Always bettering yourself. 
beautiful message. To do what you want, to be what you need, you gonna be better, you will see. To do what you want, to be what you need, you meant to be better. All the best with your decision, and then what comes next for yourself? Life makes you broken, you fall. I hope you better off. Beautiful. That's the song. Beautiful. Can you let us know what your uh, Instagram handle is or your social media just so that people can follow you? Um, so my Instagram account is called What the Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny name, right? <laughs> I love it. That's great. Okay, so people can follow you on What the Frankie. Um, and then we'll uh, include the the link to Spotify. Uh, your voice is just absolutely beautiful. As I was listening to it, there there's somebody from way back in the '80s when I was a teenager that your the quality of your voice r- reminds me, and I, I could I can't think of the person's name, but you you very much have the quality and and the depth and tonality of his voice that I just really love so much and is so powerful. So. Um, I'm going to go listen to the album on the my drive into New York City today. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you so much again for coming on the show and for sharing yourself and your story and your music with all of us. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. And the last thing I want to say to every audience and also to you is everyone, no matter female, young men or students, just do what you need. Be what you need so that show your value in our society. And all the best with your decision and in what comes next for yourself. Life makes us broken if we are fallen. I hope we can better up. I love it. Thank you so much, Frankie. And I will definitely have some coffee with you soon. Yeah, me too. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.